watch this. you so I can get through this video. Okay, what do you want? The carrot treats? What do you fancy? So today's background noise is guinea pigs, makes a change from the usual rats, chewing things, drinking, fighting in the background of videos. These guys are very very noisy, I will have a video on them very very soon, maybe the one after this one, but it makes my heart very happy that they're so talkative because they were extremely shy when they came in. So if you hear them in the background, that is what they are. Two guinea pigs, hopefully eating and staying quiet, but I'm filming in here today and I'm doing things slightly differently because at the end of every year, I always do like a compilation rewind type video. And I thought it'd be more interesting to do a Q and A instead, kind of reflecting on the past year and then at the year going forward. So gonna do that. And then at the end, I'll do the typical compilation of everything that's happened with the pets in the year. So I asked for questions on Instagram and I got some really thoughtful ones. The first one is, do you feel like you've accomplished all your goals you wanted to for 2022? Um, no. I was looking back at my like yearly planner. I made a list in the back at the start of big things I wanted to accomplish in the year. And I've done maybe one of them, I think. A couple of ones on there was things like building my outdoor office, which I think is another question. We'll get onto that later in the video. And then another one I think was to make a website with care information on. I kind of, in a roundabout way, did a very basic version of that on my rescue website. I have not achieved that at all, so plans change, things change. I would still like to do those things, but I have not done them. <laughs> and then I got a bunch of questions. I'd say maybe 80% of questions were dog related. When are you getting a dog? Do you know when the dog's coming home? Is it gonna be next year? And I'm not gonna talk any more about this. I did talk about this in a recent video, basically saying that I don't know, and I still don't know and won't know until closer to the time. So I'm not gonna talk about this until I know for definite. Um, and I promise you, as soon as I know, I will let you guys know too. So fingers crossed, hopefully if everything goes to plan, it is gonna be a spring puppy next year, but nothing is set in stone, so don't know, still. I like this question and it's, would January you have thought you'd start your own rescue? Absolutely not. That was never in my plans in this year to do that. Obviously I was aware of the situation and that animals always need rescuing, but I always saw myself to be in a prime position, having like a big farm set up when I started a rescue or doing something like that. I always wanted to, I never envisioned it to be in this house exactly, but needs must and I did it and I'm proud of that. So January me would be shook that she has one guinea pigs down there and two has rescued animals at all this year. I would not have expected that at all. And then we have a bunch of questions about rats and getting new rats. Things like, are you planning on getting new rats in the new year? If so, how many? And are you adding more rats to the group? How are the two new boys? And will your next rats be rescues again or from a breeder? So to answer all of those, yes, I always plan on getting new rats. I'll probably wait until some of mine start to pass away. Pudding is due to be two years old next springtime, and I don't know how he's gonna be doing, so probably wait until at least summertime maybe because I don't wanna be trying to train an eight week old puppy and also bonding with new rats. So probably leave it until mid next year to start looking for new rats and they probably will be rescues. I'd say maybe 80% sure that I do want to rescue next time. I have become a lot more passionate about that in the past couple of months, but it obviously depends on what's available. There's not always rats looking for homes, so it depends if I desperately need any or not, if mine start to pass away. Fingers crossed they don't, but that is always a possibility, so probably rescue, maybe a breeder. I do really love my boys, that I got from a breeder in January, Polo and Crumpets, so not entirely sure, we'll see what happens. And then off the back of that, how are the two new boys doing? So my two recent rats, Aaron and Kinder, I've not really done a big update on them here on YouTube. They are doing really, really well. They are so confident, they're really, really naughty. My other rats look like angels compared to them because they get into everything. They tried to scale the reptile rack, which is not ideal. And the other day they smashed one of my like favorite cactus planters, which 
went everywhere so I have to be on my A game because they get into everything but it makes them really fun and they're so cute, they always want to be on me, climbing me so I love them so much and I will do a big update very soon just on the rats in a lot more detail. This one is cute, do you think you'll ever have another heart rat? I kind of think I might have one, I feel like you don't really know until they're older and it's kind of crept up on you but Aero is just drawn to me, I'm really drawn to him, he always wants to be with me if he's not out causing chaos. He is very, very attentive and just wants to be with me. So I think, despite him being the wriggliest, craziest boy, he kind of reminds me of Crumble in that sense, where he's just very people orientated. So I think Aero might have crept into my heart, which I was not expecting so soon after Crumble, but he is definitely, don't tell the others, definitely a favorite of mine. So this is the big question that I mentioned earlier and if you watched my house store video or just my plans at the time you'll know that I was planning on building a big outdoor office down on the side of my house for my business and obviously that has not happened yet so this question says are you still hoping to build your office space in the backyard and the short answer is no. So that is for a number of reasons we have been in this house for about a year and a half I think and uh, that was always the plan to build that down the side, but I was kind of naive in thinking that it wouldn't cost very much, and then we got a quote for how much it was gonna be, and then the price of material skyrocketed, and pretty much doubled that price, so I was holding off trying to save a bit more money. Now I can afford to build that down the side if I want to, and now I'm not sure if I do want to or not. For a number of reasons, I think I'll make a bigger video on this because there's a lot of things, a lot of factors going into this. But just to kind of summarise, I'm not sure if I want to spend that much money on building a big outdoor office, extra building down the side because it's looking to cost about six to eight grand just to do that. And I'm not sure if I want to spend that much money if we're possibly moving next year in the next couple of years. So that is a whole thing in itself. I will talk about very very soon in a separate video but yeah no. <laughs> so this next question kind of ties into the previous one and that is what plans do you have for the rescue and how has it been so far? Um, so again I'm going to talk about this in a big separate video because otherwise this one would get very very long but everything kind of ties in together. Personal plans, business plans, rescue plans, they are all connected so I will talk about that completely in a separate video which I know is so annoying when people say that but generally the plans are to expand and be able to help more animals and I think we're planning in the new year to open ourselves up to foster homes because that can help us take in more animals so gonna be hopefully looking for people who we can trust and rely on locally um, to help us foster and in terms of how it's been it has been great, obviously it's not without challenges and rescue work is never easy but we've overcome things like illnesses and we've had our first loss and it was never really the plan for me to essentially be doing every aspect of the rescue and especially having all of the animals here with me but that is just the way that it's had to work out and it has been very rewarding but obviously takes up a lot of my time and a few people have been not annoyed but kind of missing me sharing my own pets a lot but this does consume a lot of my day-to-day -day life so I hope you guys don't mind me sharing different species and different animals that are coming into the rescue because at the moment this is taking up a lot of my time more than I was planning for it to but I would not have it any other way. Saying that I have had a few questions about the rescue so you guys must be interested and this one says are you planning to broaden what animals you are taking to the rescue if there is a need rats question mark Stop being grumpy. Stop being grumpy, you can share. So yes, I would love to be able to take in anything that needs the help, anything that needs a rescue space. And I think a lot of people would expect me to take in rats because they're kind of my thing, but they take up a lot of space that I just don't have. And also they're very tricky when it comes to their health and behavior and the social side. That can require a lot of space to accommodate these things and separate them and sort them where needed, which I just don't have unfortunately so I wouldn't be able to do that in this house and then I think in general I would probably need volunteers or foster homes to do that because out of all of the animals, guinea pigs, rabbits, mice, I do struggle the most when it comes to rat cages 
and cleaning them and setting them up I find that the most strenuous so besides my own rats I probably would need more help than just me doing this if I was to take them in. So for now I'm just focusing on guinea pigs, rabbits, mice, maybe hamsters if there is one that's in a dire situation and needs rescuing because we have the space, the setup, the accessories that would work for a hamster so those are the only animals at the moment that I can accommodate. This is a nice question, it says what was your proudest moment of 2022? I think I have two proud moments, first one being with my store, Burger Buddy store. Basically when you start a business for the first two years or so you're not really making much profit, much money because everything you're making is going back into the business, back buying stock and I have a lot of stock that is behind me and also in my storage units so essentially all of the profits are just going back in. You've not really got much money to kind of pay yourself a wage so I didn't really touch the money from that um, for the first two years or so. I was just putting everything back into the business but I realised at some point this year that I kind of broke even if that makes sense and I could start paying myself a wage if I wanted to so that was a proud moment that I'd kind of made it and got to a point where I was making some sort of profit so I'd say that was the first one. And then the second one I think is probably quite obvious and that is starting a rescue when I had no intentions of doing that. When I started my big list of things that I wanted to achieve at the start of this year back in January that was obviously not on there but out of all of those things that one is probably the most fulfilling because even though I've only made a small dent in the issue in this country when it comes to pets being dumped or unwanted or abandoned, bringing them into my home and loving them as if they were my own pets has been so rewarding, seeing them go from a bad situation potentially into a really good home has been the best experience so that one I'm definitely really proud of if I can say that because just watching these animals transform and go into good setups and good homes has just been the best thing by far. New Year's resolutions? Question mark. Yes. So obviously I want to continue expanding my store and working on the rescue. Those are two things I'm really, really passionate about. But in terms of like personal goals or resolutions, I love being outside. I love going on walks and just being in nature, but I feel a bit silly going by myself. So hopefully, obviously having a dog is going to help with that because you have to walk a dog. But one of my personal resolutions is to just walk every day, most days if I can, and just go outside because once I'm out there I do really enjoy it but I just feel really silly walking aimlessly by myself without a dog or another person but I need to just get over that and start walking and start just getting out there before the dog comes to work myself up to that so that is one of my resolutions for the new year is to just be outside more, stop being a hermit and just enjoy it because I do really enjoy being outside and being in nature. But that is it, this is my last video of 2020 and it has been a good year despite certain things. It's been the year of me making my enclosures into bioactives for my leopard gecko orbit and also for my snake roo and for my snails and millipedes. I've been working on their enclosures and I'm currently also working on making the mouse enclosure bioactive too. This was also the year of me welcoming new pets to my life and to my channel, both with species that I've not had before, like Rue the African egg eating snake, and also my three harvest mice, Hazel, Pecan and Cashew. And of course bringing home species I already had, like my two rats I brought home at the start of the year, Polo and Crumbit who were tiny babies and now they've grown into huge adult rats. And of course also rescuing two unwanted mice that were living in an unsuitable setup and that was Lark and Wren. And also rescuing two rats that were living in a small cage, unwanted, being fed on cheese sandwiches and that was Kinder and Aero. My lovely boys are so so confident now but were very very shy and scared to start with. And then most recently adding two new mice to my group that have massive huge ears and that is April and Clove. This year of course was not without losses and we had some very very hard goodbyes this year. This year started off with a rough start, having to make the very very difficult but necessary decision to say goodbye to Bagel and send him back to his breeder after trying every possible option and he ended up living a very good life with other rats. And then of course also having other rats and mice pass away. We had Humbug the rat pass away, 
Twix the rat passed away, Meadow the mouse passed away, then also Crumble my heart rat which I know affected many of you that also watched and loved him, that one was a very very hard loss. And then also Dub the mouse passed away, Whisper the rat passed away and then Fleet the mouse also passed away too. Some other things that happened this year that were really fun and a bit more lighthearted was getting a new rat cage and also making improvements to their free roam, adding new things, making it more fun for them. I also took you on my first holiday away from the pets in literal years and we also visited a UK rescue to talk about the current crisis in this country when it comes to dumped or unwanted pets. And that is where my own rescue journey started. It all began with a rescue guinea pig called Marmite, who was dumped on someone's doorstep locally, and I decided to take him in. And from there on, I have rescued one rabbit, three more guinea pigs, six mice, and going into the new year, I'm about to do the biggest rescue ever, more than any of these animals combined, so I can't wait to bring you along for that journey when it comes to the rescue animals, and just my pets and the channel in general. So thank you so so much for your support this year whether it's been watching any of my videos or leaving a nice comment or just giving me support when it comes to losing any of my animals that I have lost this year. Thank you so much for your support and of course thank you to all of my channel members. I'll put the names of the wrapped here on screen. Thank you so much for your support during this entire year and I'm looking forward to the year going forward. I've got a bunch of videos planned, both rescue ones and also with my own pets. And of course, going into the new year, we have to redo all of the classic videos like Meet My Pets and a Pet Room Tour, so you have that to look forward to. But that is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the new year in a new video. Bye!